Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build an RGB table light using Quantum. We will be using an RGB table light from Amazon, a couple of buttons, jumper wires, as well as three builder bases. While sitting in a restaurant, we came up with the following idea. Imagine you are in a restaurant and would like to call a waiter the only way is to look out for them and ask for help. By using a decorative table light and a couple of buttons, this experience could easily be improved. You can press one of the two buttons to either ask for service or the check. The waiters that are passing by your table will notice the different colors and help you with your request. There's also a center dashboard for the restaurant to manage all the table lights and set the color on all of them. They also have access to each table's status and will be notified in case you request a service or the check. This is just one application for these lights. What you can do with them is up to you and your imagination. Before we start making, please visit our website quantumintegrate.com, click support in the top menu, then click projects and tutorials on the next page, scroll down and click open projects. And finally, select RGB table light. On this page, you will find all the related information for this project like schematics, app and firmware files and much more. Let's start by preparing the table light we bought on Amazon. We soldered four wires to the inner circuit. A picture of this can be found on the project page. In case you want to use a different RGB, just make sure to check if it's a common anode or common cathode RGB. Both firmware file versions are available on the project page. We are also using a bunch of buttons, wires and a label maker to label the buttons. Please refer to the things used in this project section on the documentation page of this project for an in-depth overview of all the hardware components and tools used as well as information on where to get them. I will now follow the fritzing and build the prototype. That was easy. Next, let's connect our builder base with the queue server. First, make sure your builder base is powered and is either already connected to the queue server or is ready for pairing. Let's navigate to the clients tab and pair our builder bases that are wired to the table light 1, table light 2, and the reset button. Let's give them a name and location. Next, we have to prepare the firmware files. Navigate to the firmware page using the firmware icon in the menu on the left side of your screen. 
You can click import and use the firmware file that we are providing on the project page or click create new. For now, let's create a new firmware file together. Name it table cp cathode and then click create. Next, let's add some hardware to our firmware file. We will add one RGB LED and two buttons. Name the RGB LED hardware table light, the hardware button service and the other hardware button check. Let's start by configuring the RGB LED. We have one service that needs to be configured. We start with the driver. Select GPIO. For the red pin, we are using GP0. For the green pin, we are using GP1. For the blue pin, we are using GP2. The selected layout determines how your RGB is structured internally. We linked an explanation for common cathode and common anode in the description below. For now, Let's select common cathode. Next, we have to configure the service button. Select GPIO. We are using GP5. Enable button debouncing and select input pulldown for the pin mode. Do the same for the check button, but make sure to select GP6. The second firmware file we need to prepare is for the reset button that can be used by the restaurant. Let's create a new file and call it table cp reset, then click create. We will just add one button hardware to our firmware file here. But for later, we could extend functionality and add more buttons or other hardware like an LCD display. Use the GPIO driver again. For the pin, select GP0. Enable debouncing and select input pulldown for the pin mode. Congratulations, you have finished creating the firmware file for the RGB table light. Now all you have to do is upload it to the correct builder bases. Let's continue by building the application file for the RGB table light prototype. Navigate to the app page using the app icon in the toolbar on the left side of your screen. You can either click create new and follow the step-by-step -step description on the project page or click import and upload the application file that we are providing on the project page as well. First, let's revise the general structure of the app together. Looking at the canvas from a high level, you will notice that we have a lot of blue hardware objects on the left and right. The hardware objects on the left are the buttons that we are using for various functions. These will be used to call for service or the check and the button to reset the lights for the whole restaurant. The hardware objects on the right are our RGB table lights. In this app, we are supporting two table lights, but feel free to extend this application to support more. Next to the blue hardware objects, we have green interface objects. These interface objects are being used to create a dashboard for this application to provide control of the specific default colors, resetting all table lights with one button and show the status of each individual table. The code objects in the middle are being used to define various colors and strings that we want to send to the RGB lights and show on the dashboard. Once you are happy with your app, click the Save button and then return to your apps. Then click the Play button next to the application name, which will open the application mapping. For each hardware object, select the builder base with the corresponding hardware. Once you're done, hit the Save and Run button. You are now ready to use the RGB table lights. Enjoy!
We hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the rest of our videos, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click the notification button for updates. You can also follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.